but I do think the Yankees should go out and sign a contact hitter. A guy who gets on base, a guy who moves, you know, slaps the ball to all fields, and he plays good defense. We need a player like that. We need contact hitters, pesky hitters. Michael Brantley is one guy I want. Besides that, really don't care. I the only hitter, the guy, the only hitter I want to re-sign is DJ LeMahieu. Target Michael Brantley, or maybe go after JT Ramuto. I don't think the Yankees will afford him, but maybe if you want, if you by all means, you can go out and sign JT Ramuto. I'm not going to complain about that, but. I want Michael Brantley badly. He's a contact hitter, and that's just what the Yankees need at the top of the order. Go out and sign him. We need to spend some money. We need to go out and sign some players. I know we just spent $300 million on Garrett Cole, and I know we used $200 million on Stanton, but we need to go out and sign someone. Need to. Desperately. We need pitching, and we need contact hitters. That's what I want out of you, Brian Cashman. So if you're watching this video, if you're watching this video, Bring it, sign a contact hitter, and give us some starting pitching ASAP. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this one. What are your thoughts on the video? What are your thoughts on um, who do you think, or not what are your thoughts, but who do you think the Yankees should sign this offseason, and who do you want the Yankees to bring back in free agency, if there, are any, if there is anyone you want to bring back? The one guy I wouldn't mind bringing back is Tanaka. I love Tanaka. He's one of the best pitchers on this team this year. He was probably our second-best guy besides Garrett Cole. I wouldn't mind if we signed Tanaka, but if it's only for a cheap price and if it's for a for him being a bottom-of-the-rotation kind of guy. That's what I want. All right? So, once again, last thing before I wrap up the video. I want starting pitching, and I want contact hitters. That's what I want from Ryan Cashman this year. What are, you, what are your expectations for the Yankees this offseason? Put it down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the season that was? What are your thoughts on all the players? Did they exceed expectations? In your opinion, did they not? In my opinion, the one guy that exceeded expectations the most was Luke Voigt. Now, I, did, I, saw, I, thought, I thought Luke Voigt was going to be good, but I, I didn't think Luke Voigt was going to be that good. He was awesome this year. I, I was definitely very, very, very happy with Luke Voigt's season this year. He was awesome. He was awesome this year. The guy I'm most dis disappointed in, I'm going to go John Carlos Stanton. He was fantastic in the playoffs. But he needs to stay healthy for a full season. We need it. We gave you all that money. Next year, Giancarlo, I need you to stay healthy for a full season. Because when this team is fully healthy, they can be unstoppable. And if they have pitching, this team can be a complete and utter freight train. I mean, this team can be so good if they can stay healthy and they can reach their full potential. And they can hit with men on base, of course. So... That's going to do it for this one. What are your thoughts on the 2020 season? Put it down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on what the Yankees should do this offseason? I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you stuck around for all 20 minutes of this video, I really appreciate it. That's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys next time. Let's go, Yankees.